Well, hi there, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster with Ben. Now, last time we were over here making a start to our infinite lava supply. We built this tank. Now, the next problem is actually getting things from another dimension into this dimension so we can get it into the tank. Now, there are two ways to do that. We could use ender tanks, or we could use tesseracts. Now, tesseracts have changed quite a bit in this release, as has a lot of thermal expansion. The recipe has changed, and now it requires things like this pyrotheum dust, which needs blaze powder. And likewise, we have the ender chests which require blaze rods. So whichever way we're going to do it, we're going to need to go and find some blazers. And that means we need a trip to the nether. I think it's a bit overdue. So we need to get a nether portal on the go. And I have been looking over here, and by the way, I brought the cows over here so they'd be out of their way just before I decided to build over here. And we've got this little mound up here. And I'm thinking that this would be a great place to build a little nether temple. So I am going to go and get my filler and stuff, clear this area out and build a nether portal up there. And I shall see you when I've done it. Okay, so we have got the filler set up to clear the area right here. So we just need one piece of the conduit and a full energy cell out putting to the top. And that should clear. Okay, welcome back. We have cleared out the land. I've not built anything on it yet. But we now have a nice flat area. I used the, the clear command, then I used the flatten command. It just built in this area over here. To make the entire bit nice and flat. Now, where do I want the nether portal? I'm thinking... It certainly wants to be at the back, so it's going to go here. We can always tidy this up a little bit later. One nether portal avec dirt. Right, I have on me my armour, which is a bit battered, but okay. A few spare tools. I like to take a bow and some arrows with me for gust shooting. Um, I have a linking book back to the overworld. And really, I ought to get some book stands to put them on. Because I'm going to be going and hunting for a nether fortress, and that probably won't be anywhere near where I spawn. So it is just really... It's really handy to have um, linking books, because then I can just jump to any place. I've got two unlinked ones, so I can link them to the base of the nether fort, is the idea. So here we go. Boom. And our first trip to the nether. Okay, so here we are in the nether. 
Now the first thing that you may notice is it looks a little bit different to normal. And this is because of the Natura mod. Natura adds a lot of stuff to the nether. I think the aim really is to make it um, as livable as the overworld. There's also lots and lots of ores here from nether ores. Which will really annoy pigmen if you mine them. But there are a few that we do need to mine. But not just now. Just now we can go and do a little bit of exploring and see what we can see and try not to set fire to ourselves. Holy... A heat scar spider by Natura. That is... Oh god, what was that? Yeah. Baby heat scar spiders. Now I'm on fire. It's all going badly. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that was a great start. Okay, let's quickly mine up some netherrack because I will definitely need this, and this is soul sand, which would also be really useful to have a bit of, and I can show you why shortly. But I don't want to hit the oars, otherwise I shall be dead by Pigman. My, but soul sand looks horrible. Now there is one ore that you can only get on the nether, which is going to be really important. It's the nether quartz. We're going to need a lot of that at some point, but I don't know if I'll get it here or in a mistcraft age. But I do want plenty of this for something. Okay, how's my health? We are nearly back up to full health. Right, we are back up to full health after the spider attack. So let's go have a look. This way is solid lava by the looks of it. Hello, pigman. Don't want any trouble. Oops. Can I just, you know, if I try and push... Oh, does I push him off? I pushed him off. He. Okay. What do we have around here? I shall mark that up with a bit of dirt, just so I remember my way back. Wow, there's some glowstone down there, right over the lava. There is a bit up there, because I do want a bit of glowstone. It would be silly to come all the way here without getting sun. My, that's a long drop into lava. That's a long drop generally. This could well end badly for Team Ben. I'm sure a lot of this is just going straight into that lava, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. Let's get back down. Okay. So these are various things. This one is dark wood. As I think I've said before, there is bloodwood as well. Nether gold, that's Ardite. These ores are everywhere, but you will really upset the pigmen by taking them. Can I see anything? Oh god, it's another one of those spiders. God, they jump high. Where's it gone? Oh god, almighty. 
It's gonna push me into the. The normal spiders are bad enough, but those are horrible. You can see those clouds over there. Sulfur clouds. Bits of gravel. There is also... Ah, there's a bit of glowstone over here. There's also these stingberry bushes. Are you okay, pigmen? I haven't seen any ghasts yet. I'd quite like to have a go at a ghast. Because a ghast deer would be an extremely useful thing to have. That's everything. That's everything. Right. There's also these um, crystals from Geostrata, but in the nether they generally hurt you. I can hear a gust. Where is it? Hello, pigman. Oh, look at all that. Well, I think there will be time. That sounds like a spider. Yep, yeah, it's a spider. Where is it? Where is it? God, those things can jump. Why am I trying to kill it with a shovel? They are horrible. What the heck are those? Imps. I think I'd rather not know. And now I'm starting to get lost. I think it was... Maybe not this way. Is it up here? Okay, well, it's not. Yeah, it must be because there's a bit of glowstone. So, there we go. This is the nether as it is in... I thought you were dead. <coughs> yep, yeah, nice to see you too. There is so much Mimikite here as well. So this is the nether as it is in Feed the Beast Monster. Now I have hardly found a nether fort. And I think it's going to take quite a bit of exploring to do. Let's just have a quick look at this cloud. And there you go, a sulphur cloud. don't know if you can mine it. Oh you can! Unfortunately, it's right over lava. But you can mine it for sulphur. I'd love to try and jump on it, but it is right over lava. Um, can I build off it? I can build off it. This is where a gust appears and blows me straight off, isn't it?
So that's a little supply of sulphur, which is a very useful thing. What's this one? Ash. But we do actually have everything we need, because there is a cunning way to actually convert some of this stuff into blaze powder. And that is what I plan to work on next. So, it looks like we're going to go oop, and get a lag spike. We're going to go the Tesseract route by making some blaze powder up. But that won't be this time, that will be for next time. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.